Now to the president, I want to uh, uh, give some advice. Eh? What the president needs to do now. He has made uh, tremendous, uh, tremendous progress in terms of trying to salvage the nation. But I still want to give him further advice on what to do. Number one, on top. Now that the main members of parliament and the senators are not going to attend any fundraising, let their salaries be reduced by 400,000 to 300,000 because they earn around 710 as basic salary. And the reason why they were earning, they told us, is because they go for fundraising and for funerals. Now that that is not going to happen, instead of the president going to borrow one point something billion to cover the, 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 the deficit. Let him reduce, because I've been calculating, there are 349 members of parliament, and you add the senators, we have about 400,000 people. If you reduce what they earn by 400,000, you calculate 400,000 times the 400 people, that will be enough. We don't need to borrow anything. I'm now putting my brains to the nation. I listened to the president and I, I, I knew he doesn't know this. When you stop the fundraising and the funerals and all that, why, then, why should this member of parliament earn all this money? Because the reasons behind the earning of the money, according to what the members of parliament told us, is that they were earning all this money because they have too many fundraisings in their constituencies. They have too many funerals. Now, members of parliament, be reasonable enough. As I told you last time, swallow your pride. Let us save the nation. And I was even thinking, like, these members of parliament, if all of us as a nation can come together, one major fundraising for the nation. We will clear the China debt. For how many years will we be talking about we owe, we owe, we owe? This is something we can fundraise in a single day. Amen. This 400 members of parliament, kila mmoja atupe 10 million. Just 10 million. China tutalipa na one hour. Si mtu ambia rais hiyo maneno. Eh? Mume mwambia. Eh, mimi naona nimepiga hii mahesabu nikasema hii serikali tunaongea madeni for how long? Na sisi ni watu tunajua kufanya mchango. Michango mingine tume suspend lakini mchango wa taifa tufanya moja. Na hii makanza yote na wachungaji. Tubereke huko kila mtu half a million half a million. Tusiepe hii mambo. Makanisa ya change. Let the churches contribute. Even 300,000, every church, every registered church can give uh, uh, half a million. Every registered ministry. We raise the money. Members of parliament, parastatos, chairman of everything. We do a single fundraiser. We clear the debt with China. Then we start our country afresh. Is there no way out? The Bible says every test has a way out. Our country is under test. So what is the way out? God is giving a formula. Let's do one fundraiser for the government. One fundraiser for the government. And that will be very good. Let every county contribute money to repay your day to answer to answer afresh. We start from zero. Because why, why, why should the country... Uh, there is no single year when Kenya as a country has, has been without Madeni. From the days of Kenyatta. I think the only year when we never borrowed is 1963. From that time, it has been borrowing, borrowing, borrowing to meet our 
budget. Why can't we start afresh like in 1963? We contribute money. We clear that. And then we start afresh. Uh, we, we will be very good to go. So I'm, I'm, I'm asking uh, the president to talk to his MPs and the members of parliament from across the board to review their salaries and let them be honest. If there are no fundraising and there's no funeral expense and all that, there's nowhere they are going to take 700,000 plus. Let them reduce it to 300, and then the 400 will be calculated to save the nation from borrowing excess money. That is my number one way out. Then number two, let the nominations, this so-called nominated MP, nominated senator, nominated county assembly member, let this government be sensitive and do away with all these nominations. They are not necessary. My honest opinion, this government must reduce the unnecessary expenditure by reviewing and doing away with all these nominations. They are not necessary. Or as they did away with 47 status, let them do away with all these nominations, senators, nominated MP, nominated county assembly members, we will reduce this expenditure by far. Kanisa sisi tuliunga serikali mkono. Kwa sababu walisema pesa mfuko. Tukajua sasa washiriki wetu watakuwa na pesa. Si mambo mengine ati 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 sasa mtuambie tufae nguo ambayo haina mfuko. Ah ah. Wengine tukiangalia 2022 tulishona nguo ya mifuko mingi. Kwa sababu tulijua hiyo pesa ikikuja mimi unahitaji mifuko.